Okay, watching the 6E now. Getting a nice push down. Got three bars into it now. Oversold, speed tick. Now we got the low of the day. Potential speed tick trade if that support holds. Okay, bought the 6E. It's a speed tick setup. Straight up speed tick. Need this support to continue to hold. So far it's doing a good job, but you never know. Plus five. So this is a speed tick setup. A lot of times we'll get a rock star on a bar like this, but we didn't this time. But the rules are very much the same, right? So we're coming out of this channel. We had a hard drop here, and but and it opened on the line, so there was no speed tick option here. It continued to drop down to this line. So this was the next qualifying bar for a speed tick trade. And we had this major line of support. We are oversold. We have a pullback alert. But the main thing is, is it opened above this line of support. So we watched price hit this support and then pull back from it and open above it. So that was confirmation for us that this support actually has value to the traders that are trading right now, meaning that they're respecting this support. So we saw that here, this open, and then it kept testing the other side of this line and then finally pulled back and, and went up just enough to give us our five tick target Check it out this time, see if we get a speed tick. Nothing happens without a speed tick. Go. Now we have an option for a speed tick setup, which we got. Okay, so I bought the GC. Right above that line. So plus five. Another speed tick trade. Look at this hard drop down and then this bar, size of this bar relative to the bars just prior to it. It's a bigger bar pushing down into this support. Got a pullback alert and it's oversold and a speed tick. Remember nothing happens without a speed tick. Then this bar open just above this support but it actually backed up a little bit so uh, chances are you could have gotten a fill in here, got your buy order in here, and then straight up to target. We probably can. Let's do it. 